Meet Ocean Ramsey. Yep, that's a real name. Fitting because the Hawaiian raised scuba instructor is most at home in the water. And while she loves all sea life, this is the creature she has no qualms getting up close and personal with. The great white shark. The legendary, powerful predator with a reputation as a killing machine doesn't scare Ocean, who doesn't hesitate to take a ride or go in for a pet. Videos of Ocean's daring encounters have gone viral. That's good news for Ocean, who's trying to get our attention and let us know that these creatures are actually in danger and surprisingly need our protection. Welcome, Ocean Ramsey. If we were playing to tell the truth right now, I could put any two people next to you and no one would ever pick you're the one that went swimming with Great White Shark. <laughs> Why a Great White Shark? What was the draw? Um, probably because that's one of the most uh, misunderstood um, sharks specifically. I mean, sharks in general, they have a, you know, just kind of that preconceived notion and a lot of people don't know a lot about sharks. And what is the big misconception? Um, I think a lot of people, like if you just kind of pick it out um, in general, people would think that if a shark is anywhere in the vicinity of you, it's going to bite you or it's going to attack gonna you or you. you cut your finger. Yeah. Like if you're in the water, that any time that a shark comes across you, that you're going to get attacked. And that's so far from the truth. So if I, if, if I was scuba diving and I came across that, I, you're saying there's no need to even panic because it's what, not interested in me? Um, realistically, actually, it's kind of an interesting thing. Most of the time, the sharks are actually more afraid of us hmm. than um, even we are would be of them. Uh, they're just actually shy, and they have to have a reason to approach. How many great whites are there left? Uh, sadly, there's less than 350 left in the Pacific Northwest. Really? I mean, you think about how many people are in the studio here, how many people are within one minute walking distance, and the size of the Pacific Northwest Ocean. It's it's incredibly tragic and people don't get that message because they can't get past the idea of Jaws. Right. Spielberg ruined it for everyone. <laughs> so your your cause, tell me about your cause because you're here because you actually say not only are they misunderstood, we have to save them. Yeah, well that's the whole thing is that I feel like um, because I'm in such a unique position where I get to see sharks on a regular basis, on a daily basis, as they really are. And then I also get to see the other side of that, which is what everyone sees on TV, which is, or, you know, in the news and in the media, and it's so far off of it. And I see what's happening because of that. And people are just allowing them to be exterminated and killed, and, and, and they don't care about that. Why are they being killed? There's a variety of number of reasons. One is because no one cares enough to try and, to and stop it, or even acknowledge that it's happening. People just know their fear. They don't actually know that sharks are being killed off. Are they um, being killed for? For fins. That's the number one killer of sharks. Um, and then there's also bycatch. Um, finning, it's a really cruel practice. What they do is they catch the shark, they hack off its fins, and they throw back the animal, often alive, where it just slowly dies. It's really, really sad. And what do they do with the fin? The fin, and this is the other part of it, they use it for soup. It doesn't add taste or texture or anything. It's a status symbol. So it wow. would be like going out there and chopping the tail off of a tiger. You know, how many tigers are there left in the world? Um, just to say, oh, I have a tiger tail. So, I, so last question. When you get in the water with the great white, like the footage we just saw, any fear at all? Is there any bit of the heart racing, maybe this is the time? Um, I think I'm more afraid when I'm driving on the road. That's, really? Well, I just... <laughs> so you're really in touch with nature. And, and don't fear it. I've, I've spent a lot of time. I wouldn't recommend that just anyone go out there and do that. Just like I wouldn't recommend, you know, jump in your neighbor's yard with a dog, you know, kind of thing. Stray dog. There are wild animals. There are apex predators. Need to be respected as that. They are what they are. But I have spent. I mean, since I was a kid in so the you water. Know what you're doing. I, I love sharks. So I've studied um, marine bioethology, so it's animal behavior. So really reading into them, and um, each animal is is different and they vary in temperament. But you know, sharks are a lot more predictable than people. You hmm. know, and so you think about that oh. when you're driving, and I'm like, yeah, right. I'm a lot more nervous driving. I'd rather than be in the ocean. I'd rather be with yeah. a shark. All right, take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 